no matter how bad a day you had or what's been going on in your life, when you get in the stream and you put that fly on your line, it just it's, it's just a situation where you just think that's all you're thinking about. I had a good friend with melanoma who called me up knowing I was a neurologist and says, Dick, I have brain metastases. What should I do? He lives down, lived down in Texas and we got him set up to go to uh, get his medical treatment down close to home. And he called me back and said, well, he'd had his treatment and he wasn't out of the woods, but he wanted me to know about real recovery. And I said, what's real recovery? He said, you gotta go to a real recovery retreat. I went to real recovery and it really changed my life. And he told me it's a treatment program, support group for men with cancer. And I said, Warren, I take care of sick people all the week long. I said, I don't wanna go away for the weekend and hear a bunch of guys whine. He said, Dick, you don't get it. When they get to this, to these retreats and they have the opportunity to speak with other fellas who are uh, in the throes of, of cancer therapy or what have you, it opens up dialogue that they never thought that they could ever experience at a level that they never thought they could get to. It's a weird deal, man, that these guys just allow themselves to be vulnerable with other guys. It's an amazing circumstance. My name is Reese and I have um, I was diagnosed about a year ago, September 15th, with uh, melanoma. My name is Gene. I've got prostate cancer. I'm about in the middle of my radiation treatment. Took about uh, 35 days of radiation. I'm sorry, I'm not too good about talking about it. Uh, may, may I interject one thing? Do you mind my No, mind? please do. Your tears are welcome here. They're welcome here. We honor that. Being there and seeing men open up to one another, strangers open up to one another about some of their challenges, some of their struggles, their successes. It, it was incredible to see the sharing that took place in that room. The, the sharing, the caring, it was just it was pretty outstanding, quite emotional. The metaphor of trout fishing or fly fishing and their cancer experience is simply this, speaking from the trout's standpoint. It's a beautiful day, you're in a beautiful place as the trout feeding indiscriminately, back and forth and in moving water and oxygen and life and then all of a sudden man you decide to eat this bug and it starts it 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 it, it rips your face off <sighs> cancer you're in the battle of your life man back and forth and up and down and trying to throw that fly and the harder you fight the worse it gets, the sicker you get. And then ultimately you're placed into a net, hook comes out, put back in the creek, released, therapy, life, learning. Just sleep well tonight. Tomorrow will be our night. It just opens up your eyes to, hey, life is pretty damn good at times, you know? There is a tomorrow. There is a, things that we can still do. There's life to live. It's um, remarkable how these guys within a couple of days have, a lot of them have the, the weight of the world lifted off their shoulders. You know, you, 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 th you think that you got stuff. These guys have stuff. These guys never complain. They never snivel. It's, it's uh, they, they share their stories which makes me, as the facilitator, 
check, you know, how can I incorporate what that man said into my life? So I far and away go away from these retreats, nourished by their commentary.